Walang sino man ang nabubuhay para sa sarili lamang. Walang sino man ang namamatay para sa sarili lamang. Tayong lahat ay may pananagutan sa isa't isa. Ever wondered how you can be part of a global movement to help the most unfortunate Filipino communities? Caritas Philippines invites you to take part in doing Alay Kapwa sa Caritas in nine different ways. This revitalized Alay Kapwa Stewardship Program will let you support the nine priority interventions of the Catholic Church starting this year through Caritas Philippines. Be part of our global network of compassion. Show your love, kindness, and generosity by supporting the following stewardship programs. Alay para sa kabataan. For only 137 pesos a day, send a youth to school and end their family cycle of poverty. 
alay para sa karunungan at kasanayan. For 168 pesos a day, professionally trained a social action worker from your diocese. Alay para sa kabuhayan. For 50,000 pesos, share your blessings for a kabuhayan package for a community of fishermen. Alay para sa kalusugan. For 100,000 pesos, at least 1,500 farmers will be assured of food for their families. Alay para sa kanlungan. For only 260 pesos per day, give a disaster-stricken family a permanent home. Alay para sa kababaihan. For only 400 pesos a month, empower rural poor women with sustainable social enterprises. Alay para sa kaligtasan sa kalamidad at sakuna. For 150 pesos per day, help a family prepare for disasters and calamities. Alay para sa kalikasan. For 100 pesos, let trees grow, thrive, and create new forests. Alay para sa katarungan at kapayapaan. For 300 pesos a day, help us build post-harvest facilities for our agrarian reform beneficiaries and indigenous peoples' communities. By being part of our networks of compassion, for just one year, you will be enabling families to have better access to a better future. So what are you waiting for? Let us do Alay Kapwa sa Caritas! Because we know how much you wanted to get the right information, we give it to you right here. NASA Caritas Philippines News Updates. Accessible through your YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter accounts. NASA Caritas Philippines News Updates. Caritas News on the go. We are commemorating the 35th anniversary of the People Power Revolution and we are hoping that you haven't forgotten what happened during those days, especially the lessons that it gave us 35 years ago. For us at Caritas Philippines, this is also another milestone as we bring back the first ever online news information interview program we've had back in 2013, the Caritas News On The Go. I will be your host, Jane Ray Henderson. So let's get the show rolling on Ash Wednesday. Caritas Philippines in partnership with Media that giant ABS-CBN, We presented to the world the first digital donation portal of our Alay Kapwa program. This is by the public, especially and around the world with donation channels for our flagship programs of the Catholic Church through Caritas Philippines. We also launched the Alay Kapwa stewardship program during the opening of the 2021 Lenten campaign of the National Social Action Arm of the Catholic Church of the Philippines. This stewardship program Involves the nine priority actions of Caritas Philippines with the social action network. We the details of these programs will be discussed at length on the ongoing Lenten webinar series that we are having every Friday from eight o'clock in the evening. And on behalf of our resource mobilization team, we uh, would like to say thank you for the overwhelming support we have been receiving from. Everyone will be this global network of compassion. Just two days ago, we've met with a representative of the our diocesan centers, especially of the regional clusters 
the Social Action Network. We are so proud to let you know that our DSACs have been implementing programs on health and nutrition, ecology and food security, drug rehabilitation, justice and peace. Good proper nice. Later, we will be having one of our diocesan social action centers to share their trailblazing initiatives on ecology here at Caritas News on the go. On March 3, 2021, this coming week at 9 30 in the morning, the Catholic Church through the CBD. International Working Group on Laudato Si and the Global Catholic Climate Movement Filipinas will be launching the 2021 National Laudato Si Program led by Caritas Philippines. We are working um, together in designing the Laudato Si Program which centers in raising awareness and commitment to implement the concrete action points on ecological protection and conversion. The Intercommission's working, uh, the Intercommission Working Group is composed of Caritas Philippines, the Episcopal Commissions and Youth Indigenous Peoples, Laity, Ecumenical Affairs, Interreligious Dialogue, Social Communities, Bible Apostolate, and the Clergy. And now to give us on-ground updates, our first reporter for this very first episode, let us welcome our National Shelter Coordinator and in charge of several Caritas, Interna uh, Caritas Italiana supported programs, Mr. Genicio Arellano Jr. Hello, good evening and welcome to the program. Kumusta ka na? Saan ka po Good evening, Jing. Thank you for inviting me here in your first online uh, FB uh, news. Uh, I'm here right now in the in the diocese uh, Capis at the Kasak office. Okay. Um, ano yung uh, ano nangyari sa iyo ngayon? You're with Capis pero di ba umikot ka sa Yes, Jing. Uh, started last month, January. Uh, I'm traveling the whole Panay Island. So, I came first at uh, the day sa Kalibo and then followed by di sa Antiki and then Kasak. This here in Capis. So this uh, to visit the Caritas Italiana uh, program as uh, in different uh, uh, project uh, implemented by the, the three DSACs here in Panay. Sige po, please um, para share mo sa amin ngayon kung ano yung mga projects ng with Caritas, Intel, uh, Caritas Italiana that you are um, doing your uh, Ngayon, na meron tayong ginagawa ngayon um, with, uh, with the different dioceses. Okay, G. Uh, Caritas Italiana right now is, they have uh, six DSACs ongoing project. Three in Panay, one in, in, in Taytay, one in northern part of Cebu, and one in Leyte, Palo. So, in, in DSAC Calibo, they have two project ongoing implementation right now. One is the community managed livelihood de uh, development. Uh, the, the project uh, budget is at least 4.5 million. And then uh, the beneficiaries benefited in this project is at least 43 fisher folks and 63 women. Ang um, purpose po nito Jing is at least to uplift and living condition ng mga fisher folks natin and other members of the community, in particular areas of Sitio, Liboton, uh, Aklan. And then uh, in uh, another project is they have the uh, IP relocation site uh, for the ATI. Uh, communities natin. So this this project cost uh, 10 million. Uh, we build at least 23 uh, two stories uh, permanent shelter for the IT uh, for the IT communities and then including the 
facilities and livelihoods for them. And we are already uh, have partnership with the uh, NCIP here in Kalibo Aklan. For Visak Antique, uh, their, their project is an initiative value chain based resilient strategy creating diversified livelihood opportunity to 80 project partners. So this project cost 7.6 million. Uh, this project created when uh, the area is affected by African swine fever epidemic and the greatly affected by COVID-19 uh, pandemic. And uh, this uh, this project located in the municipality of San Jose de Bende Vista Anteque. For CASAC, uh, they have three, uh, three projects ongoing. One is the Community Managed Livelihood Development Phase 3. And this was targeted beneficiary for 20 community. 20 communities and the budget cost is 6.5 million. And then the, the goal of this uh, project is to empower the community association to sustaining uh, resilient communities, uh, improve their organizational management and system through organizational strengthening activities. And other project that uh, Kasak uh, working now is the Secret Forces. Uh, this Secret Forces, uh, the budget is 8.3 million, covering 32 parishes and 20 core volunteers. The objective of this is to sustain uh, to sustaining the diocese of Capiz resilient see empowerment and development by forming and organizing resilient communities and empowering second liners. So yung strat, uh, project strategy nito is uh, established nila yung 32 Paris Social Action Committee. And then the third program is the uh, Intensified community action and response to emer uh, emerge uh, emergent uh, di uh, dinghy outbreak here in Capiz. So the budget is just only eight hundred twenty one thousand five hundred. So the strategy to implement this project is uh, information dissemination, food assistance, financial assistance skills training and for indigenous mosquito repellent and then my uh, purchasing of the machine for this so these are all here in in panay but there are other dioceses supported by caritas italiana like uh, taitai so taitai now have one ongoing project uh, Name People's Organization with Empowered Renewed Service. And then uh, this project cost uh, 3.5 million. So this project is focused in, in Rojas, uh, Palawan. Another project uh, supported by Caritas Italiana is given to uh, RRU Palo under the, the Archdiocese of Palo. Uh, it is a community-managed disaster risk reduction, climate-resilient livelihood adaptation through the diversified and integrated farming system and social enterprise. Uh, this project worth of cost is 6.9 million. And last, uh, project supported by Caritas Italiana is in in northern part of Cebu, which is managed by RRU Cebu, uh, the, the Smile for the Faces of CMDRR. 
So this project is uh, cost at least 4.7 million. And this project is focused in the Anbantayan areas. So they have four communities there. Wow, and dami dami ng mga ano um mga projects ngayon with Caritas Italiana. But ang um, pinaka focus ng lahat kuya Dodong is mainly to empower our communities in response to uh yung ating climate change disaster mitigation natin and of course yung empowerment of our community. And of course the food security uh program we have also Okay. Maraming maraming salamat Kuya Dodo. We are so proud of you and our DSACs. Um, whatever you, what, the things that you are doing, uh, especially during the last few days, a uh, few weeks, uh, I understand na quarantine ka muna sa Kalibo before you were able to really start working. Uh, kasama si na Father, um, Father Yuli. So, pakumusta po, um, especially kay Father Mark, dyan sa Papis, and we are hoping to see you again in Manila next week para sa ating get together. Okay, see ya. Maraming Thank maraming you so much. Thank you so much, Kuya Dodo. Mga kaibigan, nakasama po natin our National Shelter Coordinator and in charge of the numerous programs supported by Caritas Italiana, Mr. Bonicio Dodo Arellano <laughs> We'll be back after the break. Because we know how much you wanted to get the right information, we give it to you right here. NASA Caritas Philippines News Updates. Accessible through your YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter accounts. NASA Caritas Philippines News Updates. Caritas News on the go. erupted more than 40 years ago. Tens of thousands of people living in nearby towns have been evacuated. For a country so used in responding to disasters and emergencies, we were left empty-handed when COVID-19 pandemic hit the Philippines. But Filipinos never lack generosity and the heart for service, and in every difficult situation, we always rise to the occasion. At NASA Caritas Philippines, we call this Alay Kapwa. In 1975, through the Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines, Alay Kapwa was institutionalized as the Church's Evangelization and Resource Mobilization Program. Ang programa kang alay kapwa mga tugang sa roong social program para magtabang sa itong mga tugang na may kaipuhan sa panahon kang pandemya, panahon kang distroso, siring man may lain-lain na pagtiyos na mamamatian kang sa itong mga tugang. Mga tugang, ang alay kapwa uh, usually inilolaunch, ini, inilulunsad sa panahon kang kwaresma. Pero dahil may igwakit ang pandemya, sa satong arkidiosisis, naisipo niya itong ilunsan ini sa kapistahan kang Kristong Hade, November 22nd. Kaya salamat sa kay Father Mark, ang satong social action director, si Riman, ang 
mga kaibahan niya sa Social Action Center, ginigubo niya mo ining appeal sa Indung Gabos para makatabang ka mo sa programa kang Alay Kapwa. Gayod, maray na inspirasyon po ini. Amang tama na isineselebraw niya ito ang special ka- Alay Kapwa Sunday muna na Christ the King Sunday. Ining Alay Kapwa program, iguan ning katuyuhan na pagirumdumon ang katawahan na igwakitanin katungdan para sa satuyang kapwa. Nakita lugod, makatabang, asin maglingkod sa mga nangaipo. Ang Alay Kapwa program, aktualmente igwa po nin tulong mayor na kabdang sa sayang pagdulot nin serbisyo. Works of mercy, works of development, and works of justice and peace. Sa works of mercy, Uya digdi ang satuya mga gawi ni pagtabang, pagkaherak, paghiras, lalong-lalo na ngunyan na panahon na nag-agi ang satuya mga kahimanwa sa mga kalamidad na nagdaranin na kung na-distroso asin kasakitan sa satuya gabos. Sa panahon na ini, ang Caritas Caceres na iyo ang Social Action Ministry kan satuyang arkidiosesis sibut sibot na marhay sa Pagdaranin tabang sa sainda. Asin salamat po sa saindong mga tabang. Nakul kitang mga volunteers, mga donors, mga uh, individual as mga grupo. Halis sa man iba-ibang parokya, uh, eskulahan, iskuluha, organisasyon na dadaranin ano mga tabang. Asin ni pinagtitipo niya ito, tanganing maidara duman sa mga uh, nangaipo. Sa ngunyan na taon, ang Tema kan Alay Kapwa Program, iyo ang gifted to give. Ang mahal na Diyos, padago sa nagtataw sa tuya ng kadakol na mga biyaya at singrasya. At sinlugod, kitaman, maging handa sa paghiras kan mga biyaya na ini. Mantang kita, gifted o blessed, ipaghiras niya to ang mga gifts and blessings na ini. Nin mahal na Diyos, urog na sa mga tugang niya to na nagtitios sinangaipo sa ngunyan na panahon. Let us be part, actively, part of this program para sa ganung bagay, lubos kitang makatulong sa gabos. Lubos niya itong mapahiling ang lalawgo ni Kristo na panahon ng pagkaherak, pagkamuot, pagtabang para sa itong gabos. God bless you. Mabuhay ang alay kapwa. Mabuhay ang ang sa itong archidiocesis kang kasteris. Viva la Virgen! Because we know how much you wanted to get the right information We give it to you right here. NASA Caritas Philippines News Updates. Accessible through your YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter accounts. NASA Caritas Philippines News Updates. Caritas News on the go. Welcome back, everyone. This is a episode of Caritas News on the Go. To those watching, we would love very much to hear from you so we can program. Shout out to Ms. Elenita Palangha Grande for your congratulatory message. We promised you another guest from one of our diocesan social action centers. And we are very excited to share with you um, how they are able to do church government partnerships And they are able to also establish um, several other things in Oriental Mindoro. Mga kababayan kong mahal, let us welcome to the program the Director of the Social Action Center in the Apostolic Vicari of Calapan, Father Edwin Garriguez. Good evening, Father, and welcome to the program. Good evening po. Magandang gabi sa ating mga kagatang-kagatang-kagatang. Kumusta po ngayon ang Calapan? I'm sure and dami ganap nitong mga nakaraang araw. 
Uh, buti hindi na po dumating ang bagyo at uh, maayos naman po kami dito. Uh, maganda na ang panahon. Okay, Father, diretso yun na natin itong usapan. Ano, kasi we have so many things um, on our plate at the moment. Eh, especially that you have been doing so many things in Kalapan through po how you were able to start engaging everybody to support the ecology advocacy, especially of the Vicariate. Actually, it's not uh, difficult to start a program, particularly for ecology in the Vicariate. Because we have a very long tradition of ecological uh, campaign, particularly, particularly in relation to our anti-mining so what we are doing now is instead of just fighting for something or a cause, so we're trying now to come up with more proactive uh, programs for the environment, and this is the spirit of that. Kaya nga yon na kakuwang global kasi sa national kailangan natin yun. Pero if you really want to see action. Uh, you, you really need to go down to the ground to be able to really see the impact of what you're really doing. I'm really blessed to be back in my home diocese to really work uh, passionately again on, on the ground. This is uh, the tradition that uh, we have been trying to do uh, our work in NASA. Other among the many things ano po, um, that you have been doing, there is a trailblazing uh, milestone or initiative the church has achieved just recently when the Food System Council Ordinance was approved in one of the LGUs in Mindoro. I know that this is one of the dreams um, that we had with um, during your um, as the Executive Secretary. Uh, tell us more about this po. Ah, uh, yes, Jing, and uh, to our uh, listeners, this is really, as I term it, it's very historic moment. This is a bad part Because for the very first time in history, uh, we have been able to create uh, this fight, uh, this ordinance, creating the state for the ecological food country. Actually, we have been trying to do it as part of the farm fish program when I was still in NASA. And also, we have uh, this campaign here in poverty, which is very knowledgeable about it. And also, our Caritas campaign, uh, what's that called again? Uh, the call for uh, uh, to end poverty. So, but uh, all this campaign will never be realized we can uh, see the impact of the ground. So that's why we, we see that there should be a powerful action along with the national and international campaign and to do it locally. And this is the, actually the, the whole point of doing or creating that ordinance. So that there will be a body in a uh, local government unit to really focus on this trap ensure uh, food sufficiency at the same time to address the mainly uh, problem uh, related to food security. Uh, lalo tigit na pero ng pandemic, di ba? Uh, we we know uh, we know for a fact that uh, the the strategy to, to the real strategy to get out of this. Uh, uh, with, um, with is to uh, be able to ensure that we have food on our table. Uh, sa pandemic, nakita natin kung ano yung mahalaga sa pandemic tayo. Kaya nga yung, yung food creation uh, ng food housing uh, ay isang napakahagang tutun. Kasi uh, sa pamamakita nito, magkakaroon ng magtutulungan ang simbahan, NGO, at ganun ang government upang gumawa ng mga programa at tulong para magpad yung pinapakarap natin ng uh, food security at ako ang isipat na pagkain. At kaug na nito, pagharap din sa mga uh, high problem at uh, mga solusyon kagaya ng uh, uh, organic o kung saka ganun ang 
hindi adapt di bago at itaya ng mabahalaan uh, ng uh, at ganon din tayo sa bahagi ng simbahan uh, mas higit na uh, sangkot dito ng mga mahihira kung walang pagkain uh, tayo pa dumat sa Church of the Poor ay paano natin kiyaaon ng mga mahihira ito pa ako na hindi yun talaga yung ay nalabihin sa nasisira nating uh, kapaligiran. Kung minsan magkadugtong yun eh, kaya kaya ako pupunti ang pagkain dahil nasisira din yung ating kapaligiran. At hindi nalabasan din ang ating mga kapaligiran. Kaya yung mga problema kasabay ng as we try to provide solution, we also uh, try to address the, the uncontrolled na the problems that we have or the issues that we have in the community. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Father, for, for pointing that out. Kasi yun talaga yung kinakailangan natin ngayon, uh, especially with the COVID pandemic and then uh, yung climate emergency na kinakailangan natin. Pero naikinito niyo din po yung, pagka, yung isa pang legislature na gusto ko maipasa uh, sa Mindoro. This is about also yung um, certification ng mga organic products natin. Kumusta na po ito? Oo nga, salamat, Chig. Actually, hindi lang po ito isang batas. Dapat ay maraming sabay-sabay na magbatas para sa development, para sa uh, poverty alleviation. At uh, sa bahagi din, sa bahagi ng mga programang sustainability, uh, sustainable development. Uh, at bahagi yan yung isa pa rin uh, tagumpay sa bayan uh, sa dayan, yung pag-tulong uh, yung uh, uh, participatory guarantee system certification. Kasi ang sa uh, umiiral ng class ng bago ka uh, PMN, yung Organic Agriculture Act, ay yung mga magsaka para ma-certifyan mo na uh, uh, organic o na yan kagandang produkto you have to undergo a very long and very expensive process of certification by the third party. So, hindi ganun kadali at kagastos ka pa ng uh, magkaming mga pera at ang atutak ng mga dokumentasyon at hindi yun kayo na mga pera. Now, the amendment of uh, the organization last year, by the end of last year. So, may, may, mga, may napasa ito ah uh, uh, amendment ng uh, organic agriculture uh, at isa sa pangunahing amendment na uh, binigay ay pwede na yung PGS uh, system na uh, yung body na uh, community led and na participatory approach ay bumuo ng uh, katumbas na third party na magse-certify ng uh, mga produkto organiko ng uh, mga munisipyo at uh, handa rito ang sablayan kasi marami din ang uh, pagsasaka. Pero nais namin na ito'y gawin din. Hindi lang sa, ito yung pinalala ito sa bayan ng sablayan. Pero nais natin na gawin din ito sa iba't ibang mga bayan dito sa uh, buong isla ng Mitoro. Sa Occidental, ganun din sa Occidental. Uh, yung pagbabago na sisimula sa lokal, mabuti rin, di ba, naman yung maraming mga inisyatiba, mas nakikita mo yung bunga, yung impact, yung tagumpay, yung mga small victories to eh. Pero sa bagay sisimula yung maling panalo sa mga maliit na simula sa maliit na komunidad. Kaya uh, yun, masaya tayo dahil at saka sisimula natin sa mga uh, hindi gaanong problematic areas, yung mga mas madali. Kasi yung mga na, naging politiko dito, kaibigan na rin natin, na dati ay sanay na tayong makatrabaho at alam natin kung nahahawakan sila na gano'ng ding pangkipala uh, at mga prinsipyo. So, we share the same uh, sustainable development principle so it's not difficult to partner with them even though they are already in politics. Tama. Uh, lalong lalo na ito yung sinasabi na mga low-hanging fruits, di ba, na uh, madaling-madali lang natin gawin, especially that we are working at the local level. You also biked for the ecology of other key environmentalists, Jensen Mindoro. Uh, 
pwede mo ba kaming kwentuhan ng iba pang stories which came out of these initiatives? Uh, mabuti, Jing, nab- nabanggit mo. Kasi uh, mah- mahal na ganang makikita. This is not my own initiative, actually. Uh, I believe in the power of one. Binabasasari rin doon na yun. Kasi may mga sitwasyon kung misan para makapagsimula ka ng mga inisyatiba, may kinakailang magsimula isang tao. And uh, I would like to comment and uh, also to, uh, to to bring out uh, yung uh, the very important role that this person played in this whole uh, campaign on, on the, all these legislations, etc. Ang tinutuwa ko ito yung walang iba si... Meron tapos very passionate din na magsulit ng inyong parang iba kundi si Farmer John. Kasi ay dati kong itap, even I, before I came to NASA, we worked together for uh, uh, in, uh, CARP, land reform, and then nag-ship siya sa uh, sustainable agriculture. And uh, he is very passionate about the issue. Naman niya, nag-bike siya. Kasi siya ng programa na project to go. Ibig sabihin, pajak ay pagbibisikleta, turo, pagtuturo mo pa sa climate change, sa issue ng climate change. So ang ginawa niya, nagbike siya ng buong Mindoro, dala-dala niya yung issue ng climate change, pero at the same time, he tried to also lobby the municipal governments uh, along all those uh, municipalities uh, that could be passing by. <laughs> nakikipag-connection uh, ng mga vice mayor, bringing all these uh, uh, progressive legislation na para bang inaalok mo po, ah, vice, pwede po po ito. Ito sa local government, pwede po ba ito, makakawatulong po sa ating mga mahihirap na mga magsasaka. So, uh, at napakaganda ng misahe kasi buong minto, ikot yung buong isla, pagpadyak, at maraming natin uh, kasi ito yung Yung kasi nasa pakisama ng uh, farmers organization niya. So, ako lang natin yung mga issue ng Mindanao na paglalaman uh, ng Mindanao ng Maynila. Yung uh, gano'n din yung popular yung Pilipinas din nilalakad. Kasama tayo dyan. So, pero ngayon, uh, local. Kung Mindoro, binabay. Pero at the same time, may dala-dalang mga uh, issue dyan. At uh, actually, Isa siyang namumuno at pinasuportahan ko. Uh, pero mara, sumusunod yung maraming mga uh, naniniwala din na ito'y kinakailangan gawin para sa uh, kampanya natin sa IMA at ganun din para sa uh, pagkawandaran ng tunay na katao. Pakipakinatang ko na sa inabuligan. Opo, kasi uh, maganda yan, Father, na nabanggit mo din, especially now that we are really into the election season na, di ba? Uh, Kailangan-kailangan talaga na we'll know from our local government officials, especially sa mga politicians, who among them are really supporting our ecological advocacies. Kasi talagang importante, especially sa inyo ngayon, dyan sa kalapan sa Mindoro, uh, we parang we witness kung paano nagtransform yung ating mga politiko into really supporting our environment. So, uh, maraming maraming salamat from for bringing this uh, to their consciousness and especially para makuha natin yung suporta ng lahat ng mga kababayan natin dyan sa Mindoro. Another one is that not only that you are doing um tremendously uh, parang good para doon sa ating environment but also para sa ating mga mangyan, yung mga kapatid nating mangyan sa kalapan. So, um, they, uh, y- kasi yung Mindoro has been your home for several years already, ano yung mga programs natin, especially ng simbahan po, para sa mga indigenous people's communities natin? Thank you for asking, Jing. Actually, I, I do not work only for uh, the social action. Hand in hand, I also work for the Mangyan Mission. At the same time, I'm teaching here in the seminary. Uh, first love ko ang Mangyan Mission kahit nung pagpunta ko sa Mindoro o sa aking uh, uh, priestly ministry. Yan ang kondisyon, uh, yung aming may sakit na obispo na lumipat. Uh, uh, when I incarnated myself to the uh, Bikari of Calapan, the only condition that I set uh, to the Bishop of Mindoro is that 
uh, I will be uh, working with the man with the Mangyans all throughout my ministry. So sabi ko lilipat lang ako if you will let me work. Uh, I can accept other works as well, but uh, I will work continually uh, for the Mangyan communities. So that's the condition. So kaya nga marami din po kami mga inisyatibo dito. Lalo tingin ko yung sustainable agriculture. Uh, we call that, uh, ang term namin ngayon ay agroecology. At uh, si John, uh, isa rin sa aking mga mentor. Kasi, at ang, ang maganda ngayon, uh, from the national office, dati nagmamanage ka ng mga national programs. Ngayon, nagmamanage kami ng farm. <laughs> With the uh, Mangyan communities. Kasi we believe the, the way for them to really develop, yung, yung tunay na development, ay uh, sa agriculture at uh, kasi nga uh, yung buhay nila bilang katutubo ay nakadikit sa lupa at kaya nga kung uh, yung kaundaran mahalaga lang na matunan sila na magkaroon ng mga atmong teknolohiya para makaunlad yung buhay Uh, nagtatanong, ma, ma, ang mahilig sila magtanim ng root crops uh, sa mga atang Pilipinas naman ganyan ng uh, uh, kultura ng mga katutubo at saka saging. Pero dahil pumasok na sila sa market economy, kinakailangan nila din ng uh, para makipag-negosyo uh, at bumili pang nagkailangan tulad ng bigas. Kaya kailangan na rin marunong, marunong sila o kaya nilang kumita ng pera Paano sila kikita ng pera? Ay kumisa ni, di ba, kaibukasyon. Pero kung ang lilinangin lang natin ang lupa at kung ang, uh, hindi na umuubra yung kaingin system kasi yung follow period hindi na yan masusunod. Pero kung kaya nilang yung pamamaraan ng agroecology na gagamit ng organikong magpamampaan, ay kayang uh, umunlad ang buhay at magkaroon ng tapat na mapagkakakitaan. Kasi ang dami ng ating ini-invento mga livelihood, di ba? <laughs> Pero ano yung akma sa katutubo? Ang sasaka. Yung likayang sasaka, yung agroecology. Kasi nandun yung kasabay ng uh, uh, hindi lang pagkita, hindi pang sigurado sa, na sila yung sapat at masusunan siyang pagkain. Pagka ba yung kasapat at masusunan siyang pagkain, gusto ba yung problema sa kahirapan? Kung may sobra, pwede yung bili, yun, ang live input component mo naman yun. Pasok sa economy. Yes, correct. Um, Father, last na lang na question for you today. Hindi namin ito pwedeng pakawalan because talagang ingit na ingit kami dito sa Caritas Philippines when you harvested the tuna, ano po, doon na itong mga nakarang araw. At ipinakita natin sa screen kanina yung mga tuna na kalong laki talaga. How come po na nagkaroon ng tuna highway sa Mindoro? And papaano itong pinoprotektahan ngayon ng LGU? Are you partnering with them para mas na hindi lamang yung environment kundi pati na din yung livelihood ng mga kababayan natin ay maibigay especially now na maraming problema tayo in terms of agriculture, fishery. Ah, siguro sa mga nakikinig mabuting tingnan bilang isang good practice yung nangyayari sa uh, uh, LGU ng Dayan. Sa paumunan ng Vice Mayor uh, si Bong Market. Yung tuna na nakita yun ng pagkarami, sampung tunilada <laughs> hindi yun inaalagaan kusang dumarating yun sa kanilang uh, uh, baklad dumarating yun parang nasa highway, lumikulang doon at nag-shoot <laughs> sa, sa lamba kasi sinusunda nila ng maliliit na isda at alam ko sila, di ba, kakainan pagpasok nila doon sa mas mababo na mga uh, malapit sa munisipyo pasok at yun ay hindi araw-araw kundi yun ay seasonal pero madalas na bakit ito nangyayari? Kasi nakanda yung dagat uh, at mayroon pumamaraan ang CV para protektahan yung kanilang marine, marine ecosystem. So maraming mga bantay dagat, hindi pinapayagin na may uh, control sa illegal, illegal na pangingisda, walang illegal fishing, walang dynamite o cyanide fishing. Mayroon mga fish sanctuary, mga protect Yeah. It's a whole program to really protect the marine ecosystem. Kaya nga, yun ang yun logic. Pag protectahan mo yung kalikasan, darating yung PS, darating yung 
Kaya uh, at ang maganda din to, yung yung ito hindi lang pag-aari ng ilang mga mayayamang tao. Ito ay LGU manage. Kaya yung at saka yung kinikita dito, hindi pwedeng mapunta sa kung saan. Uh, may may pinupuntahan talaga yan para sa fisheries development. Kaya ay uh, ugnay-ugnay yun eh yung hindi lang kumi hindi lang malalaking isda kundi yung tanong doon bakit nagkaroon ng malalaking isda dito sa at naging nag uh, tuna highway itong uh, bahaging kagatan ng isang magandang uh, at ganoon din yung mga tao alam nila hindi nakikinabang dito ng barangay ayan kita yung mga isda na yan kasi kinabang din ng barangay at alam nila kapag nasisiyan dati kasi radyo na pinagkukunan ng kanilang kabuhayan kaya bagay na bagay din ito yung sa panawagan ng Laudato Si. Yung kitang-kita natin talaga sinasabi ni Pope Francis, if you destroy the environment, you will destroy life. At saka yung, yung, yung the source of life, yung, yung pinagagaling. Ganun yan din sa mga katutubo. Pagka nasira yung bundok, sira ang mga puno, mawawala ang, uh, mawawala ang, uh, ang buhay. Ito, saganang-sagana ang buhay dahil ang ganda ng kalikasan. Di ba? Yan ang uh, duwadid. Yes, tama-tama, Father. Thank you so much uh, sa mga sharing mo. And mas magpapasalamat kami if makakaabot sa Maynila ang mga tuna. <laughs> <laughs> Maraming salamat, Father Edu. It's always been a pure bliss talking to you. And we will be able to visit you and experience firsthand your first rate adventures. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo. Any parting words po for our viewers, especially as we continue our ecological adventures? Salamat po ng marami sa inyong pagsubaybay at uh, ako po'y tapos na sa NASA pero ang puso ko'y naiiwan pa rin sa NASA. Maraming maraming salamat. Thank you so much, Father Edu. And again, we would like to say thank you to Kuya Dodong earlier as our pilot guests for this pilot episode. So what a... Uh, thank you so much for, for watching and for the support for all the messages that we have um, received this evening. See you again next week. On behalf of our Executive Secretary, Father Tony Labiao, and our National Director, Bishop Colin Bagaforo, and everyone at Caritas, this is Jean Ray Henderson. Thank you for watching. This is Caritas News on the Go. Because we know how much you wanted to get the right information, we give it to you right here. NASA Caritas Philippines News Updates. Accessible through your YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter accounts. NASA Caritas Philippines News Updates. Caritas News on the go. Ever wondered how you can be part of a global movement to help the most unfortunate Filipino communities? Caritas Philippines invites you to take part in doing Alay Kapwa sa Caritas in nine different ways. These revitalized Alay Kapwa Stewardship Program will let you support the nine priority interventions of the Catholic Church starting this year through Caritas Philippines. Be part of our global network of compassion. Show your love, kindness, and generosity by supporting the following stewardship programs. Alay para sa kabataan. For only 137 pesos a day, send a youth to school and end their family cycle of poverty. Alay para sa karunungan at kasanayan. For 168 pesos a day, professionally train a social action worker from your diocese. Alay para sa kabuhayan. For 50,000 pesos, share your blessings for a kabuhayan package for a community of fishermen. Alay para sa kalusugan. For 100,000 pesos, at least 1,500 farmers will be assured of food for their families. Alay para sa kanlungan. For only 260 pesos per day, give a disaster-stricken family a permanent home. 
alay para sa kababaihan for only 400 pesos a month empower rural poor women with sustainable social enterprises. Alay para sa kaligtasan sa kalamidad at sakuna. For 150 pesos per day, help a family prepare for disasters and calamities. Alay para sa kalikasan. For 100 pesos, let trees grow, thrive, and create new forests. Alay para sa katarungan at kapayapaan. For 300 pesos a day, help us build post-harvest facilities for our agrarian reform beneficiaries and indigenous peoples communities. By being part of our networks of compassion, for just one year, you will be enabling families to have better access to a better future. So what are you waiting for? Let us do Alay Kapwa sa Caritas.